This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 13, Introduction to Arrays, Part 6. Accessing Items in an Array. An array is comprised of many locations. You can individually set or reference the information at each location of your array, just like a variable. To tell your locations apart, each has a separate number or index that identifies it. Arrays in JavaScript are zero index, which means that the first index is zero. That's standard across almost all programming languages. I guess Visual Basic. Yes, the first index is zero. This is similar to a binary system, which begin counting at zero. For example, an array of 10 items would have indexes zero to nine. As a result, the last index is one, is always one less than the length of the array. Access array items by index. So what they're saying here, though, if the length of the array is important, because if you want the last item of your array and you ask for the length of the array and then use that number to get the last item, it's not going to work. We'll get more into that later. Access array item by index. If you know the index of the item you wish to access, you can reference it using square brackets, list, index. The example below shows... The example below prints the value of the fourth element in the array to the council, right? Because it says three and the first element zero. All right. So the first element, we want to print the first element in our array. Council log. Uh, the first element will be at zero index. Oh, I can't just put a zero. What's my array? Ah. You do it like this, okay? And then I'm gonna just copy and paste, because I need to do this three times. First, the last. So it's 10 long, so that's a nine. And the, oh, we wanna display the number five. So start counting at zeros. It's weird, but it, zero, one, two, three, four, Four. Let's see. 1, 10, and 5. Perfect. But uh, index gets easier as we keep going.